Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. Thanks for checking out another video of mine here on YouTube. Today, this is another short, simple video. Because again, a lot of people have been asking me, is there some type of expressions thing inside of Fusion? Kind of like After Effects has, where you can link things to other things and you can put in math and all sorts of fancy goodness to help control things in your compositions. And the answer is yes, there is. In fact, it's really similar. Here I have a little comp. This is just a couple of masks on some background nodes. I have my rectangle here and a rectangle here. Let's make these different colors just so it's a little easier. Blue and green rectangles. And let's say I wanted to do something like, I want these both to spin at the same time for some reason, okay? I can keyframe each one of them and make sure that they rotate the same and the timing and all that stuff is the same, but that sucks. So what I'm gonna do is link these up with an expression. The simplest way to do this is just to right click on whatever you want to control and say expression. That's going to add a little expression box there. And right now it's basically just gonna set it to whatever's in this box. So if I set it to 90, it's just gonna set it to 90. But you can also do fancy things like link these to other parameters, right? If I grab this plus box, this is my pick whip. And you just pretty much let go on whatever control you want to also control the angle. So if I connect this to border width, whatever number I have in border width will also appear in the angle. And you can combine this with math because border width is like from zero to 0.2 and that's not gonna matter a whole lot for angle. But if I said times 90, then we see we get some really interesting things happening here. Now, why you would ever hook it up this way, I don't know but you can pretty much connect anything to anything inside of Fusion. So what if we wanted to connect this to a different node? Easiest way to do that is I'm going to keep this rectangle one in the inspector by clicking this little push pin, and that's gonna pin this to my inspector. So whatever I select next is just going to show up also inside of my inspector. So if I click rectangle one one, which is my green rectangle, both of these are gonna be brought up in the inspector at the same time. So if I grab my pick whip for my angle control for my blue rectangle and let it go on the angle control for the green one and hit enter, that's going to move these both at the same time with one slider, which is really neat. The coolest thing about this is you can hook up multiple things to one control and have yourself a heck of a time. So I'll break this connection for now I'm gonna to go to my merge node and hit control space and type custom and make a node called custom tool. What this is, is pretty much just a node that has a whole bunch of like sliders and points and all kinds of little things that you can hook up expressions to, to control other stuff. So if I were gonna hook everything to number in one, all I'd have to do is scroll down to my pinned rectangle one here and pick whip my angle to number in one and hit enter and I'll unpin my rectangle I'll pin my custom tool actually and take off the pin from my rectangle and grab my other rectangle, right click on angle, add expression, and again, link that to number in one. And I can adjust multiple things with this number in one. So this is super powerful. This makes it really easy to do like really complex animations and kind of link stuff up with expressions that you would normally have to animate yourself. That's pretty much the basics of it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Click that bell, make sure that you have notifications on. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.